Welcome to another episode of Confessions of a Career Coach with Elena Agat. Today's confession is that I have not always been as proactive as I am today when it comes to my career, personal development, and just life in general. When am I, I was in my early 20s, you know, struggling to graduate from my bachelor's degree. Um, for those of you who don't know, it took me six years to get my bachelor's degree, changed my major five times, um, and, you know, just really just worked every job you can imagine since the age of 15, starting from Subway, making sandwiches, to waitressing, to cleaning houses, to work in hospitality, you name it, I've probably done it before the age of <laughs> 23, 24. Um, and so in the beginning, I was always kind of like many of us, and I think many fresh graduates and even, you know, experienced professionals have done you know, kind of waiting, waiting for that to come around for me, waiting for that career to land, right? Um, I've graduated and I said, okay, maybe I just need to get that four-year degree and I've got that. And I was like, okay, this is not happening. So kind of expecting that things are just going to come because I followed the path that everybody has said, like, you know, get a degree. I work very hard in my community college to transfer to a four-year institution to get that degree only to find out it wasn't really easy to find a job as a fresh graduate and I had no idea how to even look for a job I had no idea what I was doing didn't really have much guidance didn't know what was out there the resources just completely clueless if I were to look back so the fact that I'm talking about careers today I'm telling you it's because I went through <laughs> a really trial and error of years and years of trying to figure out how does this all work and realizing that you know, there's easier ways to get there. And that's what I, I, I'm kind of doing today with my clients. And, um, and the, the interesting part is that at the end of the day, um, unless you take some t like true ownership and really like that radical accountability for your own development, the chances are is that you're not going to elevate yourself as much as you could. So yes, there are, there are certain cases and there are people that kind of end up at the right time and right place. And sure, there's such thing as luck. I believe in luck, right? But it's a rare occasion and we don't want to leave things to just luck. We want to take ownership and take our careers into our own hands, right? And so when it comes to taking ownership, I just want you to kind of think about, you know, where you are today, where do you want to go? And how, what are the steps to get there? And that's okay if you don't know the steps, right? Like that's where there's people you can talk to and so on. And there's tons of resources online that you can, you know, kind of help you navigate those waters. But if we're just waiting for our employers to do X, Y, and Z for us, if we're waiting for managers to kind of notice us and promote us, we all know that's not the route to go. Like if you're in that, that position, you've been waiting for that promotion, you've been waiting for X, Y, and Z, and it's not coming, you probably know what I'm talking about. And ultimately, not everybody's going to be able to do it for us, not every company, not every manager. So it's almost like we're just leaving our faith and our career to the external factors when there's so much that is in our control. All right. So and, you know, frankly speaking, I see so many articles today and over the last year plus talking about what employers should be doing for employees and how they should be investing in them. But I think what the, the missing piece here is that what are we as individuals, as employees doing to invest in ourselves? Everybody ultimately benefits, right? So please don't fall into the trap of just expecting that your company is going to do X, Y, and Z, that your company is going to be loyal, not to say something bad about companies, but business is business. And we have to understand that loyalty ends the minute money runs out, unfortunately. Loyalty ends, uh, ends when it's, you know, letting out one person of five people versus the company failing. So it's not even about loyalty at that point. It's just business is business. And we have to understand that. And yes, we have to do our best in the companies that we work for, not for the company necessarily, but for ourselves. Because if you're going into a job and doing the bare minimum, you're not disrespecting the company. Well, a little bit, maybe. You're disrespecting yourself and how you spend your time versus actually going in there and being the best that you can be for you, not for the company, not for your boss, not for anybody, but for you. That is step one into taking ownership and accountability into what you do today. And then really looking at where do you need to go. And sometimes that journey is going to take a month, for some people six months, for some people a year, two years, five years. But the point is the time will pass anyway. And if you're sitting there saying, I don't have time get a reality check for yourself because it's about making time. And if you don't make time for your career, nobody's going to do that for you. And that is where that ownership again kicks in. And again, I've been there. I get it. I've gone the, the complete hard way, which is ridiculous to, 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 to say now because I've gone through such a hard way to get to the 
uh, to where I am today. And I always look back, I'm like, how the hell am I advising about careers? And I was like, well, actually, it's because I've been there and I've done that and I, I, I've gone the hard route. And so there are easier ways. And I hope that you see that. And I hope that, you know, just what you take away is just understanding how much more control in your career that you have. And that it really is ultimately for you to make that decision and for you to say that everything that you do is for your own development. And everybody benefits by default, yes. But ultimately, when you go into that job and you're spending X number of hours, if you're going into a job and you're not being the best that you can be, it's not about the company. It's about you. And sure, there are jobs where we don't always align, et cetera. But then work on that exit strategy, right? It's just, just going and not doing anything about it you know, that's not where we want to be. That's life is too short for that, but also too long to be in a place where you don't enjoy yourself. And certainly there are people in situations where you have responsibilities, you have family to take care of, you have bills to pay. So you're not, you know, you're not always going to be able to just take a pause or jump ship and start, you know, trying to figure out what you want to do. I get that. But there is steps that you can take every day to get to that exit strategy eventually at some point. It's about understanding where you are today, where do you want to go? So, if you take away anything from this, I just hope that you know how much ownership um, can completely change the trajectory of your career development. Don't wait for somebody else to do it for you. Nobody cares about your career as much as you do. Maybe your parents to an extent, right? Or maybe your significant other. But ultimately, it's truly, truly up to you. And there are so many different tools and resources that are available completely for free online to help you get started. And I'm like, hey, like, this is where I'm at. Where should I go? Doing your research and making time for your own career development. Till next time.